Hey, what's going on, guys? Clutch here, and welcome back into our chat GPT farm, where I've let an AI write a script for us for this playthrough. Well, today we're going to be moving back away from the farm, and I needed to buy some more land. Yep, spending more money. Well, considering it's the middle of winter, uh, I think you guys know where this is going, right? Uh, let's get to work. Let's go. Howdy, folks! Today we're diving into a new venture, forestry. Mark my words, this is a bad idea. It's time to harness the power of the woods and expand our income streams. So that's right, we've had to spend a bunch more money on our forestry equipment. We've got some land which we will be using for our forestry streams as well, of course, our forestry income. Um, it's, it's just a lot of money out, in fact. We're over a million dollars in debt now. Uh, not that that's a huge surprise. Forest equipment is pretty expensive, guys. So we've gone ahead and we've started taking care of the, the old fields that we had to harvest. Of course, we had to plow everything back up and get everything cleaned up in those fields. A lot of field work had to happen. A lot of, a lot of farm, farm work had to happen. So we've got those fields cleaned up. And we've also replanted canola in the one field, like we were told. Then we went in and took care of harvested the... Uh, the, the sunflowers as well as the beans. So we had sunflowers and beans to harvest, which is kind of nice. So we took care of both harvesting that and managed to sell a lot off. Some decent profits to be made. However, not nearly enough to keep on the expanse that we've been uh, doing lately. Man, we've been expanding this farm so quickly. I mean, look at the look at this another plot of land we've got here. Now, all these trees, we can harvest these. It's a little interesting what our plan is going to be on this and not something i would typically do or recommend for that matter but this is how we're going to be doing it guys so let me show you around we're pulling in right here we've got our equipment set up and um for the most part ready to go now of course forestry can be a bit of a different beast we have a couple different options on how we could attack this field this is what we've gone with now we are kind of being pigeonholed into an interesting predicament here on something i normally wouldn't do i told you this was a bad idea from the get-go true We've invested in chainsaws, a wood chipper, a powerful logging tractor, all with our goal to harvest timber and to produce wood chips. That's right, I said wood chips, you guys. Like I said, not something we would typically normally do with a forestry uh, setup, but we're, we're doing that here. So I do have a Komatsu 931. We've got the 931 setup here ready to rock. That's going to be our main, our most expensive and main uh, wood harvester i guess or tree harvester got an international uh, semi truck and we've, we can use this again which is kind of nice it's funny because we got this for like the cheapest amount and we're going to probably get the most use out of this same with the uh, the bed as well the the box there the open box i can use that for crops which i already have to be honest to go sell, sell off some of our crops behind that i do have a raptor 300 just for taking care of stumps but the big thing with this one guys also it's got the winch on the back so i can pull the logs out of the out of here and then line them up for our wood chipper. Our wood chipper to chip those logs into chips instead of just selling them as logs. Because it, it's like right there is the sawmill. Uh, don't ask, we're making wood chips, all right? All right, well, let's get this fired up. Let's knock some of these trees down, see if we can uh, make some money with some logging. Uh, it's It's been a bit. Um, cabin tilt has to be activated, really? I didn't know that. Oh, okay. See, you learn something new every day. So we'll knock down a few of these now that I figured that all out. And uh, we'll see if we can keep the trees kind of close here for now and uh, go from there. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see how close we got. Like I said, that's we bought that raptor with that with that, that main intention of being able to, um, of course, keep the logs close to this wood chipper. There's a couple of ways we could have gone with that, of course. All right, so I set everything to 10 meter lengths. It's a little long, but uh, we'll knock a few of these down and see how she looks. Uh, I want to get rid of these scrub trees especially. These are really not great spots. I just want to make some space in here so we can move our equipment around as well. Oh, 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 no, no, no. Oh, yeah, we're rusty. It's been, it's been a while. It's been a, it's been a, to say it's been a, a little while, it's, it's been a long while. All right, there you go. Knock that down. Lift you up. Just drag you right over here for now. And away we go. Perfect. See, yeah, yeah, that's fine. We can actually probably grab those right from there. Yeah, yeah, it's easy, easy trees. These are small scrub trees. These are these will take no time at all to, to chip up, I think. Right? You know what? I would normally, I wouldn't chip these either. So, I, I don't know. Maybe this is beneficial in a sense. We'll see how we make do. But usually, I mean, we've always just taken the, the, the big logs straight in and gone that way, which has always been, I wouldn't say the easiest way of doing things, but at the same time, boom. Um, 
this is one more step we got to do in the field rather than just load it up now lo loading lo lo loading logs loading logs is uh definitely oh, oh that's a bit closer than i wanted to be is a, is always a bit of a struggle as is so maybe this will be a little bit easier in that sense because we don't need to load them up we're just kind of throwing them in that wood chipper right all right so we got about a dozen trees knocked down right there let's fire up the wood chipper and see if we can start throwing them in uh and once this, we get stuff kind of done we'll grab the raptor and go from there we'll we'll need to move that in a second as well i guess uh, well, well we, can, we got quite a few of these logs i think right off the bat here all right wood chippers fired up let's spin this thing around oh man this is uh where my struggles just get started let's even grab one little log here off the bat now you gotta try and get the weight balanced on these as best you can obviously and um you're talking to the wrong guy about this you are talking to the wrong guy about trying to get the weight balanced on these things come on all right grab that just one just one just try just you know what just take one we don't we don't want to grab two at a time yet let's you know start off with just one no 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 grab that there you go there yeah yeah like that like that like that nice and easy lift it on up and twist it over um i don't want to take everything with me though you know what that's okay that's okay we're good we're good and then just kind of bring it in right see yeah yeah see we're good we're good and then is it gonna drop right there can i drop it no it's gotta be in see you gotta get that weight just right otherwise you're not gonna you're not gonna be able to get it on that on that conveyor the conveyor could be like a little longer i think just saying the conveyor could be like twice the length there we go oh yeah, yeah. see okay good, good and we've got digital display we can see how much we've made so far guys that's cool perfect, perfect. all right let's, let's uh grab a couple more of these things without damaging things too badly i'm sure it'll be fine all right run into a bit of a problem um it's got like a safety where it won't let me go down any further than this on the back side here i've got a pretty much load on the side i didn't know that so like i might be able to can i grab this one well no it's not gonna let me drop it any further than that see if i want to drop it down i need to oh maybe i can grab it i can just kind of grab it just like with my little pincers there just kind of you're like can i get it can i get it can i get it uh right there yeah yeah see if i if, oh can i just kind of swing it and then grab that oh there we go no i didn't grab it with the pincers no it's too far away now isn't it oh definitely too far away now uh darn okay well let's try it and see if we can use the uh the raptor to kind of drag these into a spot where it's a little bit more manageable so an easy way to do this is just pushing it to be perfectly honest to you guys lower down the uh the mulcher don't turn it on of course and then simply push the trees into the angle we kind of want them in now that should be a little bit closer we'll see if we can kind of push them down from the backside here and just kind of push them straight ahead there we go see just like this this is what i want to do the whole time Oh, that's gonna be fun to get out of there, isn't it? All right, well, this one should be easy. We can just kind of grab the winch and attach it to, to sure, like this one here, and then just drag these logs over closer to where we want them. Just like this. We can grab a couple at a time, maybe, right? Oh, there we go. See, I even grabbed the one below above it. It's coming with it. There we go. Perfect. And yeah, yeah, see? Oh, let's see. Can I grab a couple? Can I grab more than one? I don't know if I can. Oh, see? You know what? It, uh, yeah, 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 we're okay. We're okay. See, we're not always the worst. I mean, we're not always... The, we're always the best. What am I talking about? Let's be honest here. All right. Nice and easy. Just stick them in here. Uh, don't drop. Don't drop yet. I need to find the, like, the right spot. I might... I think I'm in. Is it... Ah, see? Yeah, there we go. Like, like, perfectly. Like a glove. Like a glove. So going with smaller logs might have been... Um, a better option i have to admit but listen we it's like carrying the the, the the laundry bags the laundry bags the grocery bags into the house you take them all you don't just take one or two you do it all at once and that's what we we do here we're that's what we do with laundry bags that's what we do with grocery bags that's what we do whatever we're doing it all at once and uh it's, it's going to work out we're going to force it to work oh no 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 there we go 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 just jam that in yeah yeah, yeah. see like I said, I got a plan, you guys. It's all coming. It's all kind of coming together. I guess we're uh, full. Let's um, we can extend the auger and let's go grab the truck. All right. So we still have. Look at all the trees we have there. We've made a little bit of a dent in this, but I'm, I've got a lot more to go stick in this thing, guys. Uh, let's load that up, nice and easy. There we go. Perfect. All right. Let's go um, fire this thing back up again. All right. So we're almost full in the truck, to be honest, uh, with all the extra trees we had there. But we'll get another couple more trees. But before I do that, I want to clean this up and knock down some of these stumps just to make my life a little bit easier for getting around. 
I've been struggling a little bit here and there. So let's just, uh, yeah, we'll just knock a couple of these down. Come on, just grab you. There you go. Let's see if we can find a couple more of these, just to, so we're not running into them constantly. Because that there is just frustrating when you have the logs up here, and all of a sudden you run right into a log, and then it gets stuck on it. Yeah, yeah. So there we go. Grab a couple of these. Do a bunch more of these. We'll get it. There's like probably 20 I've got to grab here. You know what? We'll grab the bushes as well. Um, should be able to get rid of those. Yes, thank you. So I can actually see what I'm doing. Haha, <laughs> even better. You know what? I may be blind, but at least now I don't have an excuse. All right, so we've got both the uh, the wood chipper and the trailer filled up. Let's head over and sell us off, guys. You know what? It, it, this is a decent way to make us some extra cash for sure. Now, my plan is... Oh, hey, brother. How you doing? Just coming in for a drive, are you? Shouldn't you be in the wood chipper? Anyways, uh, the plan is that I'll make enough money off the wood chips here over the next little bit. I'll knock a bunch of these trees down to pay for all the equipment plus the land. So, like I said, we're about another 1.5 mil in debt, I believe it is. By the time we get this all sold off, I want to be well under, like, maybe down to 750000 again. Get this all paid off and, yeah, get back to normal. <laughs> get back to normal, please. You know what? Actually, with a couple of these sales, I just do the math in my head. I think we'll be down closer to 500000 I think we can get close to 500000 with a couple of these sales. This is a lot of wood chips and... I mean, we barely made a dent here over the last couple hours, so we'll get back in there. We'll knock a bunch more of those trees down, and uh, we'll see where we go. Logging is a lucrative industry, and it's a great addition to our farm. Now, let's get into animal breeding. Ugh, that was painful. Um, yeah, we'll finish this off. We'll head back over to the... Uh, let's go take a look at our animals, and we'll, we can talk a little more about that. I'm going to knock a bunch more of these trees down before we do that, though. Get our finances kind of balanced, at least. Like, this is a lot. Look, guys, look at all the, the wood chips. Look at all the freaking wood chips. We're going to knock all these wood chips in and uh, make some money back. And we'll see where we stand by the end of the day. And then we'll go talk about some animals because animals are still making us money too. See you guys in a bit. All right, logging is going well. I thought I'd come back, check on our animals. Now, I just realized, you know, I need, I'm, I'm going to be close to getting, you know, down to about half a million bucks of our loan. So that's all we'll have left to pay off. And we've got all these straw bales. I might as well get rid of these. This is all I got left. I've sold off a bunch, but... We're not using them for our feed yet. I'm not ready to start making, like, TMR for the cattle. I'm just getting them silage and hay. Um, for the most part, like, just odds and ends, whatever I can feed them. I think we can sell this off for now because we're going to get a lot more straw come the new year. Yeah, we might as well we'll get rid of all this stuff. That's We don't need to have that clogging up and uh, getting in the way. Oh, I can't connect the uh, hoses on this one to the lines. I guess that makes sense. There's no air lines. You'd think trailer brakes, though. You get trailer brake lines, but I guess not. Anyways, let's head over and sell these off. So, yeah, ca uh, the... The, the, the cattle well the cattle are doing well but the forestry is always surprising to me on how much you can make in a relatively short amount of time i mean within a few hours we managed to uh pull ourselves back into a reasonable amount of debt after we spent a bunch of money on the equipment i mean we spent six hundred thousand dollars i think it was on the equipment and we were almost at a million bucks in debt beforehand so we've almost paid off a million dollars of our our debt just in the forestry and the animals this morning so that was actually pretty decent um, it's, if you spend a good, a good chunk of time doing it, you're going to make some decent money. Now, unfortunately, the, uh, the straw isn't worth all that much, but you'll take what we can get, I guess, right? I mean, it is what it is there. Boom. All right. That's all sold off. Let's head back to the farm and let's talk about our animals because that there is kind of like our, our fallback, I guess, right now. All right, guys, another month has gone by. We've taken care of a bunch of the logging, of course, made some money there. Like I said, about a half a million. I um, spent another $100,000. I'll show you a little bit more about that because we're working our animals right now. Yeah, yeah. Breeding animals not only provides additional income, but also enhances our farm's ecosystem. We're well on our way to $10 million. Well... We're on the way. I don't know if we're well on our... We're still half a million dollars in debt, so easy on the old stats there, muchacho. Seriously. Sounds nice, Lloyd, but, you know, don't you think you might be jumping the gun a little bit? All right, so let's talk about cattle. Our cattle are looking pretty good. we got our baby cows. We've got some heifers. we got some bulls. And we are making milk, which is really pretty good. We're not selling our cattle off yet. Soon enough, once we get enough population inside the pen. Of course, you guys have seen our, our baby pigs. we got our piglets. We've got a bunch of pigs. Uh, pigs is actually becoming one of our number one money makers right now, month over month, guys. We're, um, they, they're breeding us really quick, and uh, food is actually relatively easy for them right now, at least. We're just buying pig food. And lastly, we've got our chickens, which, because I'm, I'm having a struggle with right now, um, I've just been feeding them wheat, which we're going to do right away, but they haven't been doing great. You know what? Let's go feed them right now, and I can show you uh, my new purchase. Open sesame. Open... How do I open my door? 
There, you, there it is. There it is. There it is. The Kubota M6. I needed something I could um, move the eggs around with. The eggs. The, the, the bales. Um. Oh, I forgot you're with me all the time now, aren't you? <laughs> this is super awkward. Everywhere I go, you're going to come with me? Really? Oh, man. Anyways, yeah, I needed a tractor that I could move pallets and bales around with. So uh, we picked up the M6. It was just under 100,000 bucks. So that's not bad. I mean, there's, it's relatively small. It, it'll, it'll do the small farm work I need. I didn't have anything else that had any kind of a front fork on it, guys. I couldn't put a front loader on any of other tractors. So I needed something and... Well, this seemed like a relatively good price, so we bought a motor. And we didn't sell any of our wheat off. I made sure I kept that for our feed. So this is what we're feeding our chickens. Now, like I said, all I'm feeding them is, is wheat right now. It doesn't seem like it's given us very much food. Our health of our chickens is not great. I'm not sure why. Usually, uh, yeah, it used to be that that's all it would take. It seems like they require a little bit more right now that would help benefit uh, benefit them a little bit. And I don't know what exactly to do with that. So now for the pigs. I've uh, switched up. We've got, like I said, we buy our pig food. We buy all of our food right now for our animals for the most part. So that's kind of a bit of a, a limitation right now. I just don't have, I don't make any, any of the food for the pigs yet. I can't mix them up as of yet. Same with the, the cattle, right? TMR, we can't make TMR yet. We're just selling silage or making, getting silage. Soon, oh, soon we'll be able to do this. But I mean, we're, we're moving so fast and getting our farm, like, this is a pretty well to put together farm already, considering we just kind of started off. And, um, yeah, whatever. We'll buy the we'll buy the pig food by bulk and it feeds the cow, pigs and we'll sell the pigs off the next couple days or whatever. So it works out fine. It's just, it's just the way we have to run things until we can finally afford to, uh, or get our, our mixing and pig food operation up and running, I guess. Not great, but not bad either. All right, so now we need to talk about our pigs, which also need food. Now, I've been buying pig food instead of, because we don't really make the pig food as of yet. You know what? It, ooh, watch out for that. It's not that bad for price-wise, at least. It, I mean, you're getting the proper the proper um, concentration of everything, at least, then. And I don't need to grow beets, so there's that, right? And, you know, and then every day or so, we just kind of come out here, bring our pallet out, and the Kubota is great for this. Once again, a front fork tractor. And uh, there we go, guys. We've got pig food going in perfect right anyways like i said it's not the best system but it's not bad either we can feed all of our animals uh, just by buying food for them that's one way to do it for now until we get our farm fully up and operational i mean this is pretty decent right not bad so guys thanks for being part of the journey fellow farmers in the next episode we'll explore advanced strategies including green energy production and niche crops Hit that subscribe button for more farming fun. Wow. Well, guys, I don't know where this is going to go, how we're going to make that 10 million bucks. We, we need to make 10.5 right now. We've got to find a way to make that money at some point here. We, we can do some more harvests and uh, get some more logging, but we're going to run out of logs soon enough. Then what do we do then? I don't know what it's going to plan. We'll wait and see the next episode. We'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Uh, slap the like. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll, I'll see you guys then. Have a good one, guys. This is Clutch. Over and out.